Whose Dog? by Francis Gregg. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Lucy Burgoyne. Whose Dog? by Francis Gregg. From the Forum. Hey, there, ladies. Here, move on, you. The tone was authoritative, and old John, the village drunkard, crouched away. I weren't doing nothing, he clutched feebly at the loose hanging rags that clothed him. Only wanted to see same's them. Guess this pier's big enough to hold us all. Hello, John, have a drink. A grinning boy held a can of salt water toward him. The quick maudlin tears sprang to the old man's eyes. Little fellas, he muttered, little fellas, they oughtn't to act that way. Give him a new necktie. He's got to go to dinner with the lodge. A handful of dank seaweed writhed around the old man's neck. That's a turtle, that is, the boy went on. The need for imparting information justifying his lapse from ragging the drunkard. There, swimming round, it's tied to that stake. You ought to seen it at low tide, when it was on the beach. It weighs ninety pounds. I seen a turtle want, the drunkard quavered. It was bigger than that. And they tied it to a stake, and it swam round, and it swam round. His sodden brain clutched for something more to say, some marvel with which to hold the interest of the gathered boys. It was good to talk. If only they would let him talk to them. If only they would let him sit on the store porch and smoke and gossip. He wouldn't be the town disgrace. Well, go on. What did to do? Hey, you! The boys were interrupted by the authoritative voice. I told you to move on, didn't I? Now, if I tell you again, I'll run you in, do ye hear? What you boys let that old bum hang around for you anyway? What's he doing here? Oh, he's fun. He weren't doing nothing. He was just a-watching it swim. It's tied to that post. It don't come up no more. Watching it swim, eh, was he? A oh, right. Whose dog is it? The officer turned and sauntered away. Sudden horror seized the old man. The liquor seemed drained out of his veins. His brain worked almost quickly. Whose dog? Whose dog? Say, he darted after the retreating boys. Say, that ain't no dog, is it? No dog. Tied up like that, to drown, say. Oh, keep off, I told you once. It's a turtle for the lodge dinner. The boy shook himself free. The old man stood a moment shaken. His pulpy brain worked dimly toward the conception of the pain that was consuming him. Whose dog? That man had asked, and he hadn't meant to help it. Whose dog? They could do it, tied up a dog to drown in sight of people like that. Cruel. He saw the policeman coming toward him again. In a sudden frenzy, he clutched his tattered garments about him and began to run, to run toward the end of the pier. The boys raced after him. What you got to do? They shouted. What you got to do? The old man turned and looked at them a moment with twitching features. I'm going to die, he said. Come on, you fellows, come on. The drunk's got to die. Come on, he's crying. There was a splash, a surge of green filth and mud spread and dyed the water. A row of expectant heads leaned over the rail. Say, he ain't come up. They waited. The policemen strolled leisurely down in response to their repeated cries. Who won't come up? 
What him, the drunk? The officer leaned lethargically over the rail. What am I going to do? Why, leave him. He ain't got no folks got to sit up nights waiting for him. Now you young ones go along home to your suppers, he indulgently commanded. And you little fellows, if you want crabs, be round here early. By tomorrow this place will be fairly swarming with them. End of story.